So hi everyone, thanks so much for coming up to CCHQ and having a lovely cup of tea. <laughs> so oh, it's just great to get together and talk about some of the things that we've all championed and, and been proud of. As How did you get into this game? How did you end up as a member of parliament? That's a long time ago. I can't remember. <laughs> 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 Seriously, what brought you here? What brought me here? Yeah. yeah. It, 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 it was actually wanting to champion and stand up for people that I knew in my local area and I, I also had a real drive to get into that place where all the decisions were made and do something important. How about you? Um, yeah, I wanted a Northern Powerhouse. I got, I spent too much time. You are a Northern Powerhouse. <laughs> 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 you. <laughs> Don't, but seriously, you can, you can sit on the telly for a while. You can sit on the shower at the telly for a while or you can put your head down and go, do you know what, let's see if I've got something to contribute. Let's see if I kind of get involved or not. And. I was surprised. I actually thought that I would get kicked out, you know, with this accent and no background, and it was almost an exercise in failure. Mm. We were on the same <laughs> weekend in Cambridge, weren't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we uh, so finally turned up it in the house together, but it was amazing to see you come in because we'd been on the parliamentary yeah. assessment mm -hmm. board. Yeah. I'd never been to Cambridge. We just went no. to some ho hotel on the outskirts. You didn't go to university? No, 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 outskirts of Cambridge. <laughs> And spent the weekend away from the kids. It was brilliant. And uh, <laughs> managed to get <laughs> now you get to the big yeah. candidate and meet Fletch. You know, it was great though. To be fair, because you kind of you do form like teams of camaraderie, don't you? Yeah. Like we're all the mm. same inside. Yeah, yeah, and what yeah. about women to win? though? wasn't that a big part oh, of all yeah. of our. That's where I first met. Yeah, yeah. I think we met all of you. All probably. Yeah, women yeah. to win is great. Oh, and CWO. And CWO. Yeah. And CWO, they, yeah. they, they, they were also a big part of our gym. And I'm sort of the old timer here, right? No. <laughs> no. Uh, and uh, I remember thinking when there were only 17 Conservative uh, women MPs thinking, honestly, Harriet, if you're not prepared to do it, you really only have yourself to blame. Really and what true. I want to see in my lifetime, now we're up to, what, 87 female mm. uh, Conservative MPs, I want to see 50-50 yeah. Parliament yeah. in my mm. lifetime. Yeah, and well, that I, is the change I want to see. Are you the first woman to chair the Treasury Select Committee? No, I'm the second. Ooh. Our Baroness Nikki Morgan did it. Oh, oh yeah, 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 but one. Um, but we, uh, you know, we're able to, uh, for example, before I did uh, politics, I was in financial services. We're doing a really interesting inquiry at the moment on what we're calling sexism in the city. Oh, God, um, yeah. About how we improve this world leading sector. Yeah. I mean, it is a fantastic sector. <laughs> and we want to see change in that sector. We still sure. got to do that. You've oh, still got to do oh, that. Yeah, definitely in the city. Yeah, we're Actually, that's Learned the great thing that. about coming with loads of experience. I mean, mm. many of us have already had loads of experience yeah, before we mm. came into Parliament. I'm not saying we're older, but no. um, we have come with yeah. at least sort of 10, 15, 20 years worth of experience mm. in the city or working yeah. in lots and lots of other places, which I think has helped all you, of us. You, you were in business, I was in business. You were, yeah, you were in yeah, 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 she was in the city as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think almost all of us. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah. So what's the thing you've done with your business experience, apart from... You know. Yeah, I mean, I have used it. I have used it a lot, but I think if I think about what I'm really proud of in yeah, terms right. of what I've focused on and what I've delivered, uh, it is definitely around the violence against women and girls. That's mm -hmm. the key thing. Uh, I think a lot of us have worked on issues such as the menopause, and I know that Mims has been brilliant on that. But I really was the one to recognise that we need to do more there. And there was a whole series of reforms that I was involved in across the whole court mm -hmm. system. Mm -hmm. And I think lastly, what we've seen is we've seen spiking now being recognised mm -hmm. yeah. as yeah. serious it's crime. The papers all weekend. Yeah, yeah, and that's you know that a lot of us have actually. Mm -hmm. And that's the difference. We talk we about talk. issues that affect us. So mm -hmm. I've been spiked. We've been mm -hmm. uh, here championing things that affected us and changed the law. Yeah. You first spoke about yeah. menopause in the chamber and actually I our male I was colleagues, first, I was the first you were the first to MP. speak about menopause yeah. in the chamber. And our yeah. male colleagues yeah. love that because it gives mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. they can talk about in, and do in constituency surgeries mm -hmm. and locally, the ability to jump on that mm -hmm. on a national scale. And I think, Harriet, you mentioned the change in women coming to Parliament, mm -hmm. the difference it made it in does. being able to talk about those more dif I difficult mean, subjects and important subjects. I'm such a huge fan of what Theo's done in mm. terms of talking about birth trauma. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. And, and as you're saying, like using our personal experiences. Mm. So, so I'm a new mum. I had a baby mm. since I got elected, 
Um, and I never expected to be giving such a personal speech mm. in Parliament talking about having a really mm. difficult childbirth. And I'm now doing this national inquiry looking how to improve maternity mm. services across the UK. And I've been working very closely with Sherilyn on her work on baby loss. But I think us talking about our personal experiences, which are also the experiences Properly that our constituents are having, is really yeah. important you because nobody else is talking that. about it. So stand up and talk about that. It must take a lot of bravery. Yeah. 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 Well, I think as a lot of people have seen, I actually burst into tears in the yeah. chamber yeah. Um, during my speech. <laughs> And also very much like my daughter will right? sort of watch yeah. this as well when wow. she's older. Um, but it's amazing to see what the new health secretary, Vicky, has already mm -hmm. done. And mm -hmm. um, so she's just brought in in response to our campaign, this new checkup with your GP at six to eight weeks. Now the mum's health will be checked for physical and mental health, not just the baby. Wow. And to me, that's amazing. There's yeah. a backbench yeah. that I've been able yes. to make yeah. that change just as a result of doing my wow. campaign and talking yeah. about my own personal experience. So that's the importance of being here, right? Who else mm. could bring that experience? So, so much to life, same as you. Well, did you just so, yeah. you, you've changed it all, though, haven't you, with the certificate? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, so as Theo said, it can be quite pathetic. So once a year we have yeah. the baby loss um, debate in Parliament, and it is quite Which pathetic. Is a oh, the first time I did that. Well, yeah, yeah the first time I did, it, and you think, oh, I'm in this place. I'm being very professional. I'll just have to relay my story, and then it gets you in the throat, and you can't mm. stop it. And actually, then you see how. Um, brilliant colleagues are across the house. It doesn't have to be such a horrible, toxic place. Actually, everybody's really, really nice to you and things like that, that, that happen. Um, but campaigning on something like baby loss is not only so important to people up and down the country, but today uh, I was at the school gates and one of the mums came up to me and she put her hand on my arm and she said, Pregnancy loss certificate is that down to you? And I said, oh. well, Yes, well, yes. And she went, and she just burst into tears. Oh, no, 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 my, no, and, no, and she was, and so that for me is is full circle. It's something yeah. I wanted to achieve, yeah. and then somebody right there in my community yeah. is just genuinely, it's going to make such a difference to them, and that's yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's amazing. Yeah, it really does. It makes it everything does. Yeah. Well. I mean, we have, obviously we talk a lot about all the sort of downsides and the abuse and all that yeah. kind of thing, which uh, it I happens. It does. It does. It does happen. But then you've got to remember things like that and it's mm. just it the yeah. things that make it worthwhile yeah. uh, but i also think probably all of us would still say you definitely do this job right well it's the best yeah. job yeah. in the world yeah. Yeah. it's the greatest yeah. job yeah. in the world yeah. not only being able i mean you know you didn't expect this experience no but you you know you experienced something that a lot of other people won't yeah. therefore you're there and your voice is there it's interesting what you were saying about the baby loss because when i was a backbencher one of my um things that i uh, raised was the microplastics and the microbees yes. and the wash on care and, 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 and soil and, 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 and yeah. I talked talk about things because it's my mm. background, you know, food farming, growing, gardening. Mm. Uh, that um, I don't know because obviously you, well you've been there before, Harriet, but things like soil, you know, yeah. Yeah. people thought it was not. Yeah. Nice. They, 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 they did laugh. Yeah, they did They're not laughing now, Rebecca. They're not laughing now because it's all on the agenda. And actually, we, we got a huge mm. following, didn't, didn't we? Mm. We came mm. in together, yeah. didn't we? Mm. Rachel, uh, Amanda, and I. So they probably saw me and thought it's slightly bonkers. Um, <laughs> and, and, but and yeah, now we're talking about it. It drives me nuts when people say, "Oh, I'm not interested in politics." They don't realise. Politics. It's true. It's true. Everything in your life is politics. Jobs, microbeads, jobs, growth, apprenticeships, travel infrastructure. Oh, I'll use the A word. Jackson. Oh no, no, no. Well, of course, I am the only degree apprentice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you heard that before? But you know what? I mean, just, just. How brilliant is that for women, right? Because a lot yeah. of women need to earn at the same time as they're learning. Yeah. Particularly if they've got families, particularly if they're looking to get on in a career, particularly if they're looking to shift careers. So being able to have many, many more options, and now we've got 70% of pretty much any occupation in this country, you can access via an apprenticeship. Um, so that, along with childcare, which I think have been two big things, yeah, yeah, yeah. which, you know, obviously we're still rolling out childcare, but that'll be the free childcare, well, taxpayer-funded childcare yeah. from nine months up yeah, to five years. Yeah. This is... This is big. It's really. Well, big, how many people it? do we know whose careers have been sort of taken off track mm. by families? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. How many people yeah. do you know? Whether yeah. they, you know, whether it's just those that, that they've chosen the childcare, or maybe they've they've become a single parent. You've got but to make a choice it's between there. being there for your kids or yeah. working. Yeah. And actually, what you're doing now and what the mm. government is doing is, is, is saying you freedom, should. Yeah, you don't need to make choice. that choice. Uh, There's 2.4 million more women in work. 
in 2010. Yeah. Well, just oh, in this it's the wow. fastest growing part of the labour market, yeah. women over 50. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So wow. whether it's getting childcare right or making sure mm-hmm. that Menopause part of your career yeah. is the oh, most yeah. fulfilling, yeah. positive experience. So mm-hmm. we're doing it all the way through and that, that stems from the mm-hmm. childcare changes mm-hmm. that we made in 2010. And today, just today, ahead of International Women's Day, we had our first round table in number 10 on menopause. Brilliant. <laughs> Um, talking about it, intersectionality and the impact in different cultures, why we need to support women to stay in work, because unfortunately one in six women between 40 and 60 then get to this amazing career, maybe through the apprenticeship, and then feel they've got to step back, mm-hmm. and yeah. we've got to change yeah. that. So I think all of us here can say and point to something that is a conservative-led policy that yeah. we've directly mm-hmm. had some impact yeah. on, and mm-hmm. uh, that's amazing at any age or career stage. And I don't think people see that when it mm-hmm. comes to the conservative. Well, it's, it's Harriet's point mm-hmm. also. People don't even see this as politics. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. yet every single mm-hmm. one of these, from you know, from baby loss to birth trauma yeah. to maternity, kind of refocusing the police on some of the violence against yeah. Yeah. girls' yeah. agenda. Yeah. 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 This was just like the to-do list of things that have been done. Spiking, you would think spiking mm. was yeah, politics. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, but to the points that we've said, but like it's kind of making sure that that rises up an agenda that is an industry that's perhaps more mm. male dominated. Yeah. Or, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. And then you've got to kind of there move it around a bit. There was a huge cultural change needed in the police, actually. And we've, we've had to still do that. Yeah, yeah, we've yeah, had yeah, to really get them to understand it. And, you know, they are good. Lots of them are good, but there's still but so just the changes to like them. someone's been uh, kind of had the the, the, the the awful experience of rape, you know, mm. that pivot to look at the offender yeah. and mm-hmm. investigate exactly. the offender, don't exactly. investigate the individual exactly. lose your phone, that kind mm-hmm. of stuff. You know, it makes a big difference. It makes a huge mm-hmm. difference. You've done some stuff in STEM as well. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, policy yeah. nerdery. Yeah, yeah. Come yeah. On, yeah. <laughs> no, no, but that's what you well, need. Girls in STEM is like massive, yeah. right? Because yeah. that's that's. But the, they can, and, and I think we, so I've been on science and sex select committee since 2019. And I remember trying to explain how the COVID virus latched onto the human body with a reverse Christmas tree and looking at kind of various people cross party actually and kind of going mental. But we need to do this. And actually, it can, these things connect. So the, shall I say, Hirsute Bottoms Northern Engineers, who are, who are my passive familiars, <laughs> etc. But they can't um, believe like that. You're like Brian Cox of politics. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, I was the polite version. But, um, but the point is, is they are astonished and actually proud of my cousin's girls going to apprenticeships, degree apprenticeships, laying pipes, mm-hmm. sorting it, software engineering out. They are they, they love the fact that, that it's actually an accessible route that's perhaps slightly different. Mm-hmm. And they love the fact that it's like the 21st century version of night school, which is you don't have to go to university to get into practical STEM mm-hmm. and build up Northern Powerhouse. Because mm-hmm. you know, I was on the radio the other day, they said, whose house do you want to live in? Mm-hmm. And I said, I want to live in Fred Dibner's. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, no, no, seriously, you used to have belt driven lathe and all sorts. You mean you know it will work and it'll be... No, 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 <laughs> because, <laughs> because I, want to, I want to evolve it. But the point is, is we're proud of our yeah. industrial history. And we've yeah. been excluding 50% of the workforce and not anymore with the different reforms mm-hmm. that well, we're in making. farming, in Plumpton College, and oh, I yeah. told Rebecca that, their intake this year for farmers is women. They're really yeah, they're really dominant yeah, so intake is female. Do I do have to mention it's wine, it's the wine college as well. Well, <laughs> they're, they're <laughs> still <laughs> doing this. Oh, awesome. For the house magazine, which is our internal magazine, because they're having a bit of a rural focus. Uh, and actually, um, th- there's still a lot to do, in fact, for women in farming. We've mm. got lots of people working in it now, far, far more. Mm. Uh, but uh, and they're rising up through the ranks because lots of them run organisations like Minette Batters, who is yeah, president yeah, of the NFP. Well We've got a woman now who Ali is Kappa. president yeah. of the CLA. We've got yeah. a, an amazing scientist mm. woman uh, and with a financial background as well, Dame mm. um, Amelia Fawcett, who heads up Kew Gardens, which are, is our huge scientific powerhouse. So they're in there, but actually still only 12% of women actually working in farming and agriculture, but that's rising. And uh, my point is that we've got such opportunities yeah. now, and mm. women are genuinely really interested mm. in the starting with the science routes, but the wider routes. And you Not can come in any way, way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it has to do with all the yeah. things like ecology, soil yeah. science, yeah. land yeah. management. Lots of people have an old fashioned view um, about farming, and about so construction, about engineering. Yeah. They have a sort of yeah. 
more of a 20th but, century view of the kind of jobs, yeah, because, it, even in but, finance. But just, just to make the they've all fact changed. That it's the, the jobs. Conservatives, and it's since mm. we've been here, yeah. uh, have changed the whole system of how we pay for environmental goods in the environment. So we're paying people to do good things, yeah. Yeah. to yes. clean the water, yeah. to hold yeah. the soil, to have healthy food. So and not, actually, we're interesting. Women are really interested in that. Yeah, yeah. So really they, you know, we, we, we do tend to be the ones that mm. bring up the children. We do understand about the food. What are the things that we're all proud of in terms of what we've done? For the economy and for women and for families, what would you? It's well, I, I, I would point to the childcare. But yeah, yeah offer. It's going to save families six and a half thousand pounds mm. a year well, working families. It's massive. Um, I, so I think that's a, a really important thing. And I, I and think that kicks in at what age? Um, well, it will be from nine months to five years right. old. So we're we're rolling out in April for two year olds, and then in September Fantastic, for yeah. under two year olds, and then it will go up to thirty so hours. It's such September. a huge cost to the people. We're thinking it's back massive. going back to work. Mm. Back to your point earlier, yeah. is it even worth me going back to work? Mm. So that will really pivot those decisions. Yeah, and I think you actually speak to lots of parents. They're like wow, is this really going to happen? All the discussion yes. mm-hmm. is, can you deliver it? Will you mm-hmm. deliver it? Yes, so, yes. yes, we will deliver it, but um, yeah, that shows yeah. how much We've got shows how national much living wage on top of that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we've got uh, the local <coughs> housing allowance is going up by 1.3 yeah, billion. Right. I'm sure we're all proud of things that we've done from changing the spiking law Just on the local to that allowance. Allowance. That's about £800 a year per yes. family mm-hmm. who are going to be better mm-hmm. off because their rent support in social housing or private rented uh, will be there for them. And, and of course we've been spending about 3000 a year for the most vulnerable people supporting them and then there's been the household support fund. So mm-hmm. we've really focused mm-hmm. all our energies in a really tough time on the most vulnerable. Don't you think yeah, that you have. see gets a bit overlooked? Sorry Harriet. I've, I've I was just going to say about inflation yeah, yeah. and how inflation Yes. is such a scourge for our economy mm. and particularly a scourge I think for women and it's good news that we've got it down yeah. from 11.1 yeah. um, where it went after Putin invaded Ukraine down to 4% and that 2% is back in our sights again mm. so uh, totally. getting inflation under control and taking a series of decisions that didn't make inflation worse mm. has been so important yeah. for our economy. Yeah, 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 we can wrap that Particularly as a mum with kids at primary school, school standards. So, talk to me a bit yeah. about where we are with reading and, yeah. um, you know, how much. Because, you know, my daughter will come home from school and I'm looking at what she's doing at nine years old. You're and amazed. Like, oh, we never did anything like that. Exactly. <laughs> so, the standards in schools, I mean, that's really been the focus since 2010 and making sure that. Because our kids are going on to compete in a very different world than we all went into. Highly digitised world, highly globalised world. Mm. And we always test what we're doing internationally. So, yeah, well, your daughter, she's nine, right? So the nine-year-olds in our country are fourth in the world for reading. Um, And that's in their own language. Some people say, oh, it's good for English. No, it's in their own language. Um, And our... our, um, our 15 year olds are now 11th in the world for maths and when you just think about the progress that's yeah. been made yeah, in school we standards. Yeah but we were like 27th or something like that. We, yeah. Yeah. we were 27th yeah. under the last government. Yeah. 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 It's a very good stuff. But this so women like, at university are yeah. there as well mm. it? and yeah. university and the, the apprentices. So, you know, All you kinds of at agricultural college, at universities now, yeah. 60% of the people there mm. are now girls. And apprenticeships mm. are so going into UCAS, is that right? So the, the apprenticeships so the are now under UCAS. to balance out. Yeah, good. So yeah. anyone, and this is another thing actually going back to the cost of living, and if you're worried about debt and taking mm. on debt, you can now get to it, the same place in life via an apprenticeship. Yeah, yeah. You can see That's it on right. UCAS. You yeah. can skip the student debt. Now you might want to do the full time one, yeah. but you've got the options. Yeah. Yeah. None of that existed before mm. 2012 without mm. this conservative yeah. government. Yeah. So yeah. there's yeah. a lot, there's all going on. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so the other thing that I think <laughs> women don't see, because you've done really well pulling this together, Thank but they you. don't actually see the camaraderie of it, you know, no. as a no. show for women. So how do you, I mean, you know, when we all walked in 2019, we looked at all these august and senior figures. And <laughs> 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 you knew us all already. I mean, yeah, 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 like, what, what's, what's the, like, if we put ourselves back in the shoes for people that might want to come and join us, what would we say, do you reckon? Like, they're all right? I think they're all right. I'm allowed to say this, but a good example is somebody defected from the SNP and yes. joined us, and she's well, yeah. a, a woman. Yeah, exactly. And we all got these WhatsApp groups that we yeah. belong to, different ones, and actually they're, they're, some of them are quite fun, but they're also very helpful. 
and it's overwhelming what she says about yes. the camaraderie yes. she yes. Yeah, she does, yes. really. she yeah. does. this group of women and yeah. I'm actually quite touched by that yes. 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 Well, that's yes. why we're all optimistic positive <laughs> yeah. Yeah. happy right we've always got each other yeah. 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 what really strikes me about listening to everyone here is that everyone has been campaigning as an MP on something that they really care about personally or affects their constituency and for me, the example is always the fact that we never had a women's health strategy That's before right. the Conservative yeah. government. Yeah. Yeah. I can't yeah. believe that yeah. was yeah. literally yeah. never the case under yeah. any previous government. And literally every single person here has picked a different issue on mm-hmm. women that you've been championing. Yeah. Yeah. And it's because of us all doing those campaigns that the government has brought it in. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's a really important point Catherine's making is that actually it's women can make that difference mm-hmm. and be the change. And Absolutely. all of our personal experiences is what we can bring to the chamber and be that sort of unique voice of parliament. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this yeah. is, I think that's a brilliant place. Thank you so much. I want to thank all of you. I mean, I know that all of us have have championed different issues and we could probably talk for hours as well. Let's talk about I mean, I'm a a mother of four, but I'm a grandmother of two, one little girl. So all of this gives me so much hope and optimism Mm. optimism for the future. So Mm. thank you all for coming for a cup of tea. Thank you.